good uh, morning, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, we're doing a bit of a later session today. We're definitely going to target carp today. Um, condition is, is perfect. Uh, and it's actually what other predicted. Small swell, first day of the northwest after a, a solid southeaster. So it gave the, the water a bit of a chance to settle. The color is perfect. It's like a light, light, milky, blue, light brown color. And that, that's perfect. So with the flatter water, if you find the right piece of structure for pop, you can really have a good session. So they tend to uh, constantly concentrate around small sand pinnacles, small reefs in the flatter areas. So yeah, we're going to give it a full go today. Uh, sardine is the best bait for me early season. Uh, it's a very soft bait, so we're going to have to do a lot of uh, bait presentations. Sorry, not bait presentations. Uh, we bait and bait up, bait ups, but just keep the, the fresh bait in the water. So I'm really looking forward to this session and uh, feeling positive. So yeah, let's see what happens. Alright, so uh, yeah, we arrived at the beach, the water's perfect. It's a strong, very strong northwester, so it's going to flatten the water out even more. Uh, but the color's perfect, not too brown. The roll is perfect. We have a deep, deep gut on the one side and a very shallow sandbank on the other side. So we've got that perfect structure. A shallow sandbank and a deep gut, and the cob should sit on that line there. So uh, yeah, we're going to start baiting up with a fresh prawn, like really, really live prawn, and then a uh, beautiful sardine from your Kita Bait and Tackle and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh. Alright, so that little sardine bait, uh, the back half of the sardines and lots of blood still in there. Very proud forward in the circle look. Really good bait for us. For these, uh, for the younger cobby specifically. So yeah, get the pop it in and see what happens. Alright guys, so I got two two cob rods in. Uh, one with the sardine belly on the dingle dangle, and uh, you know the other one's got a, a long sardine bait on on the uh, without the dingle dangle, much closer as well. Um, while we're waiting for the for the cob rods to drop, we're gonna be targeting a white stump nose or steam brass or one of those big black till we get you in false bay. So just normal scratching trace. Uh, it's about a 35, 40 centimeter long loop trace with a 10 circle key. Diameter on this one is 0 0.60 diameter. Swirl single power swirl. And then for the sinker line, I'm going to go with a 0 0.50 diameter. So 0 0.50, 0 0.60. Always slightly thinner than your hook trace because if you do get stuck, you want to snap it, sink off, and not lose the fish. So yeah, I'm just going to get the prawns. I'm going to show you guys now how to do a nice prawn bait uh, bait presentation. All right, guys. So yeah, I'm going to start with uh, just a, a three ounce crab sinker. There's a, a scattered reef, so. I don't really want to be in the rocks, I'm not really targeting Khalyun. So, uh, yeah, a little four ounce. Let's take our prawns. So, look at that. Look at that bad boy over there. Mm. So, I want to leave him, keep him aside, and then the say two or three smaller ones. From the end of the bait cotton. So, I'm going to take one, I'm going to put him through the head. Put another small one through the head. Just line up the line like that. So this is going to be used as a base. So you can tie it on a bit firmer, just to prevent the bigger prawns from uh, slipping off while casting. Okay, there's your base. Now just take a, a bigger one, line it on the side like that. Start tying them up. Catch the knapers a bit. And off once, twice. Okay, make sure you want a bit of a gap there. That's it. A little prawn I'm just gonna tie that up a bit tighter. Otherwise, if that's loose, it's gonna swing around in the air when you cast them. Yeah. You want to have it as no streamlined as possible. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna make a spot where we'll be fishing for about an hour. Uh, we had one bite off on the sardine bait. It's probably an elf, but uh, yeah, nothing else. So it's a bit quiet. So we're gonna make a move to another area, and uh, yeah, it's a 
bit of a, well, sniff nose of yesterday. It's probably about 40, 50 guys per hour. So we're gonna look for a spot that's a bit more comfortable. That's it, let's go. Right, so we're gonna do a double look, uh, a double look trace, well, a sliding look trace. There's, there's a, a right way and a wrong way that can just increase your, your chances of actually hooking the fish. So uh, we're gonna start with the, the sliding hook on top. I'm gonna show you guys something. If you're gonna put the line in from the back of the hook, it's gonna slide like that. So you, you will miss fish like that. It's gonna be sliding at that angle, all right? I check the difference if I put it in from the front of the hook. So this will be the scalamuki. I put it in the front of the hook. So now it's gonna change the whole angle and the hook will actually swing forward instead of swinging backwards okay so all you do now you just do like a half turn around it and your hook will be perfect where with the other side if you do the other way around it's not going to be, be effective to do that okay nothing else now uh, one size bigger circle look at the bottom so we're going to rig a worm up so i'm not going to snell it it's going to be a normal clinch not one two three four five Wet the knot, put it tight. So. Okay, so now you can easily adjust the, the hook length of the size of the worm you want to coil. So it's free floating, you just give it a bit of a turn like that, and it's more than enough tension to, to set that hook, just like that. That's it. So there's a blind to a bait, uh, we can target the uh, top uh, Bellman, Zebras, anything black tail. So just the, so yeah, Lana has got this nice little gully. He looks about 34 centimeters on the white muscle while we're waiting for the for the cobbies. So yeah, just to keep the yeah, keep the board ticking. Well done. That's it. Nice. So when you're releasing a fish, wait for the water to wash past you, and then just release it with the flow bag or with the pool bag. And they, they do like to have a big toss of it. Just to wake them up. All right, so uh, yeah, we've made a quick spot move again. It's our third one for the session. Uh, it's about an hour and a half before high tide. No luck in this world. This, the sun's probably going to set in the next hour and a half or so as well. Probably one of the better times to, to target cop. So, trying a piece of water, it's uh, it's very flat actually to be honest but we have a bit of sand puffing up so we're gonna yeah we hope that we can find some cob in the sandy patches and then while the cob rods are in we're going to be focusing on the, the big black tail and there's a couple of khalis maybe a, a white stump stuff like that so yeah let's see what happens
right, so uh, yeah, we made a quick spot move again. It's our third one for the session. Uh, it's about an hour and a half before high tide. Low light like condition. Well, these, the sun's probably going to set in the next hour and a half or so as well. Probably on the better time to, to target cop. So, found a piece of water. It's, uh, it's very flat actually, to be honest. But we have a bit of sand puffing up. So, we're going to, yeah, we hope that we can find some cop in the sandy patches. And then while the cob rods are in, we're going to be focusing on uh, this big black tail and this a couple of khalis, maybe a, a white stump, stuff like that. So yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, Troy had a really nice take on the sardine now. Uh, basically pulled the rod flat. The, the, the sea is really flat. I mean, so uh, we're going to continue with the sardine. I've got prawn on the other rod, white muscle as well. So uh, the area that we fish is a bit rocky, so I'm going to go with the shortened sinker trace, 0.50, little 4 ounce, and then uh, 0.65 for so the younger cobbies, uh, maybe get a big black tail as well. So glucky, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, so you can get that. We just need one cob, that's the first one for the season. So. Yeah, you need to put it up. 